and welcome to today's video. Now I'm going to be comparing Firefox to Google Chrome in terms of how fast it is, what specifications it uses, and um, well, in terms of RAM and CPU, and how well supported they are. So Google Chrome looks like it's very good at parallelization. It's got 30 threads open, and if we go to this, you can see that I have lots of cores to be made use of by Chrome. Firefox only has seven threads, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. It seems Google Chrome is more optimized for multi core processors. So, the Google Chrome and Firefox have similar add ons, Firefox having more, but taking up less memory than Google Chrome. I have 16 gigabytes of memory, so I'm not too bothered about the consumption, but now we're going to perform a speed test starting with Firefox. We're going to run the test five times on each to get ourselves some averages. How fast do these tabs load? So we've got the same page up on both. So it's this page here from Modifius. So I'm going to refresh it on Google Chrome and see how long it takes. It didn't take that long at all to come up with everything. Probably because it was cached and now it now for Firefox. Taking about similar lengths of time. So what I'm going to do is find myself a link to run on both of these that will not be cached. So I think we're going to go for, uh, yeah, let's go for, let's copy this link, waylandgames.co.uk, Wayland okay. and I'll put the t exact time on screen if I remember to. Okay, that was pretty fast on Firefox. Now if we give a Chrome. They appear to have taken similar lengths of time. And um, Google Chrome is eating my memory, as um, it should do. Wouldn't expect anything less from Google Chrome. So overall, performance-wise, they're about the same. Google Chrome eats more memory, but that shouldn't be a problem if you have lots of memory like me, but if you're using a lower end system with potentially 4 gigabytes, then that is always a concern. Now I'm going to talk about compatibility. So Google Chrome supports later versions of Adobe Flash Player, whereas Firefox doesn't, and that's about it. Apart from that, they have pretty much the same levels of um, compatibility. Theme wise, you can customise both. As you can see, my Firefox has a theme on. Um, I could have turned it off to give a more fair test, however, I didn't think it was necessary because Firefox was still winning in terms of memory and CPU. So, yeah. And also, I've just noticed Google Chrome randomly eats your disk in the background. It is interesting to say the least. Um, so, so um, how well supported they are, it's about equal, Mozilla Corporation supports Firefox a lot, and Google supports Google Chrome almost equally, so I think it's up to your personal preference. With Firefox you can get your Google Chrome extensions, and um, I don't even remember how to use the Firefox interface, which is always good. So there is an add-on if I even remember how to use this. I think, I think um, there's an add-on that I've got for my Firefox that lets me install Google Chrome thing, um, extensions. This one here. So Chrome Store Foxified. It lets you install them, but in the latest update it's had a few hiccups to do with certificates from the actual thing, so you can turn that off in settings, can't remember how, but you can. So, they're about the same really. If it if their plugin exists on 
Firefox, it more than likely exists on Chrome as well. So at the end of the day, it's up to your preference. Google Chrome is probably filled with trackers for Google. Mozilla, I don't think it is because it's owned um, Firefox even, because it's owned by Mozilla and it's open source. So I think if uh, well, Chrome is also open source, like Google Chrome is the version by Google which is not as fully open sourced. So it's really up to you at the end of the day. Um, personally, I recommend Firefox um, just because I don't trust Google as much. But Google Chrome is still a brilliant browser, so it's up to you. So I'm now going to run the rest of the speed test and turn that into a time lapse.